I, uh, I assumed that they would answer my arguments, but instead, what happens is you get dismissed. So we have a body of knowledge, which isn't really knowledge. It's, <laughs> it's just a, a opinion based on advocacy research. And people say, well, why do you care that much? I care because, I don't, first of all, I do my other feminists. I do care about the problems that uh, women have. I think there are unresolved issues. And I don't think they're going to be solved by spin, hype, myth, overstatement, and advocacy. They're going to be solved by you know, sober research and reasonable policies based on you know, the best information you can get. We're not getting good information. But we, what we're getting is propaganda. And this propaganda is creating, I don't want to say fanaticism, but it's creating fanaticism on some campuses. <laughs> and, and I think that at Oberlin, you know, this is a great college. These are just very smart kids, privileged kids. Uh, and they could come and heard and, and be challenged some of their received views. Uh, well, actually, they did come, but they came armed with posters that say, Christina Hoff Summers, go home and take your internalized misogyny with you. So if you are a member of, like I am a woman, but I don't agree with radical feminist analysis, so that doesn't mean that my criticism should be taken seriously. Oh, that means, oh, she's internalized misogyny. So it's, it works almost like a conspiracy theory. You can't.